reveal a room, somewhere in the back of a smunky hotel in New York City. A piano, a table, some chairs, one door. The three writers sit consciously apart from one another, the composer at the piano, the others in the chairs. Let's go. We can't. Why? We're waiting for Gado. I think it's Gado. <laughs> they said Gado in the last revival. All rise for the President of the United States. <laughs> Please you sit down. I suppose you're wondering why I called you here? Uh, is this an intervention? Because I have it under control, I swear. Nuclear war is imminent! Well, imminent dish. Uh, and we called you here because you three, well, <laughs> you're songwriters. Well, they're songwriters. I'm a librettist. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's the stuff that isn't the songs. Oh, but, but you three wrote the musical version of Air Force One. It was a huge hit in Germany. And Korea. Oh. So? Well, I I've asked you here, you three here today, to do what you be do best. To write a musical about this incoming nuclear war. But... But... What? To save the world. A musical to save the world. Yes, yeah, we we focus grouped it. Musical theater, we thought, is the ideal solution for nuclear warheads. That makes no sense. Uh, um, here, uh, this might help. It's a, a play by um, Arthur Coppett. It's called The End of the World. He wrote it um, uh, back in the 80s. I've never heard of it. We came really close to getting bombed by Ris the Riskies a couple of times, but, but this play, it saved our bacon. Well, it says here that it ran for less than a month. Cover story! <laughs> Reagan focus group things, too. In the 1980s, a play was enough. But now, we need a musical! We think the first missile is going to hit in uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? You can't write a musical in 20 minutes. You're smart cookies, you'll figure it out! <laughs> Fucking president agrees. Now musicals 
Family matters most under the sun. 
paper, which they slammed down on the table. Here. What's that? It's a pad of paper. What's it look like? It's an outline. An outline for this musical. Well, that was fast. What can I say? I work well under pressure. You guys were distracted, so do something with it. Like what? Like write that perfect song you've been arguing about. I'm right here waiting to do just that. I've got a beautiful melody ready to go. Oh, beauty isn't the way to go. Oh, my freaking God, no wonder you never wrote another show together. The fate of the whole human race is at stake, and you two assholes still can't agree on a damn thing. Who cares what style the songs are in? You've got to stop this fighting. You, you think we'll save humanity if we don't finish writing? Yeah. I've given you material, it's drafty, yes, and leaded, leaded, but we gotta turn in something. To prevent the Armageddon? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Don't turn this into a song. I'm, I'm not doing anything, I'm just working on chords. I know you want to get this right, we all slave for perfection, but time's not on our side here, so consider some reflection. Stop. There's lots we want to say, but now our principles don't matter. I thought I said to quit it. Well, then don't say things in pattern. Oh, come on, lean into it. We could die anyway, so who cares? Yeah, who cares? Exactly. There's a time for art, for the truths we impart, for humanity drawn like a map, for the cleverest rhymes, but these aren't such times. Let's churn out any old crap. We all strive to make quality, that's fine. And well, time for quality and us to go straight to hell. We don't have all night. There's a show. We open on 
two songwriters. Show about humanity. A play with wisdom and 
is not Lake Park, I don't. Enter the President of the United States from the musical. Within the musical, within the musical. Thank <laughs> you. 